Hello, I'm Martin Mall, and I'm not a crook. But why take my word for it? These people obviously want, who can blame them, really? It's a jungle out there. You can't pick up a paper these days without reading something in it. I know I do, and I bet you do, too. Problem? <laughs> it's a staple gun. Staple what? Gun. No guns. No, it's a staple gun. Pick it up on your way back. Okay. Careful now, it's loaded. You know, despite what you might think, all that crime and violence isn't just festering in the inner city, the Mideast, or Miami, Florida. No, there's also the ugly, pus-filled boil of white crime that from time to time needs a good journalistic lancing. That's why we're taking our cameras off to the heartland, to Hawkins Falls, Ohio. So, come fly with me. Let's fly. White as a color, think of a rainbow, color me white as snow that falls across this land that I love. Loving thy neighbor, just like a brother, willing to labor for the stars and stripes that fly up above. The flag that waves above us all is made. It was the Wright brothers, two industrious young fellows from Dayton, Ohio, who revamped traveling in this great country of ours. And now it's a snap to get anywhere within two or three days. Our destination, the beautiful Elysian fields of Hawkins Falls, Ohio. And as usual, Cinemax went to no expense to make sure we got there in style and safety so we could bring home the bacon, or in this case, a TV show. Now, if we were doing a special on breakfast foods, of course we could have a segment on bacon and probably a darn good one, but uh, not a whole show. Not unless you split it up into all kinds of specialty meats. And that would include, of course, your bacon, your beef jerky, your cocktail wieners, your Jimmy Dean sausage, maybe even your scallops. Nope, no, no, scallops are not a meat, they're a mollusk. Well, my lucky day. I didn't die on the plane. My foot's not asleep anymore. My bag's the first one off. So far, no crime. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, okay. uh, this bag does not match the baggage plane. You know you're right. What are you trying to pull here, pal? Oh, pulling nothing. I just grabbed the Officer, wrong bag. Officer, got a live one here. No, Step you over don't. this way, sir. No, stuff right. over here, sir. I'm Dr. Fisher. Hello, this Doctor. This is my doctor's bag. Uh huh. I'll be darned. It is. It looks exactly like my bag. Save the horse shit. It says doctor right on it. See? Now, I've got enough drugs in this bag to put a cow to sleep, and you're from Hollywood. Right. I can put two and two together, young man. I haven't been living under a rock for 62 years. Rest this bozo. Oh, no, that's unnecessary. See, it's just a, mis a mistaken identity thing. A lot of these bags look alike. Yeah, I'll say that, don't they? Yeah. Come on, downtown. What? No. You know, generally, I'm a very generous tipper, but I'm having serious second thoughts here. This is no way to handle a guest in your community. Joyce... I don't know why you bother making pies. These people do it so much better than you. You know what? You're right. I think it's the crust, isn't it? It's not soggy like yours. Yeah, mine's a little heavy. It's, it's... it's doughy. Yeah, it's my I mother's like your pie. Well, you eat it then. I'm just saying. No, I like it. no, 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 it's no, not right. sweet. You're right. I, like, I mean, I don't I like, like admitting it, but you're absolutely right. Why did you buy store bought? Store bought's the best. Jay, I don't know. Maybe I could meet Danny or something and get his recipe. Mom, there is no Danny. He's made up like Ronald McDonald or Bozo. Who would make up Danny? It's got to be a real person. You know, Debbie, sometimes you're so stupid. Tommy. Debbie, are you going to argue with your brother or are you going to eat your pie? Because if you're not yeah, going to eat it, honey, I am going honey, to, honey, huh? Honey, honey. <laughs> You've had my pie, you've had Tommy's pie. You don't need Debbie's Who's pie. Who's counting? That's why I married you, honey, because you, uh, you're you right every time. Yeah. Check. There uh, you go, hon. Whoa, what, we break something or what? What is that, the address? Uh, wait a minute, nobody ordered tax. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> Just say it, okay? Oh, she loves I got it. Lipstick. Oh, that's all right. Listen, let's see if we got any of the old long green. 
Well, Joyce, how are you in the money department? Oh, honey, I've just got the grocery money, and you made the rule. Ah, you can't touch right. it. Where is she? Earlene? Sweetheart, you still take plastic, don't you? Oh, sure. We take uh, MasterCard, Visa, Diners, Amex, and J.C. Penney. Chevron's no good? <laughs> Not here. I may have my J.C. Penney's. Hold on. Oh, I got it. Ah, J.C. Penney's yeah. we got. We can walk out the front door with our head held high. It's the white Rolls Royce. I'm kidding. It's the blue station wagon. You are such a character. <laughs> Joyce, wait a minute. Uh, how the heck could it be $12.92? The shrimp was $4.50, and you right. shared it with Debbie. Because I want to be model. Right. And isn't the salad bar free? Now, what else was there? Honey, we had four pies. How much could four pies be? Well, at least a dollar and a half a oh, pie. Oh, my gosh. We used to eat here. The four of us were under Honey, 10 what, bucks. Do we have money to give to this car guy? I don't have a penny. I left my last three dollars on the table for the waitress. Don't worry. If this guy can speak English, I'll talk my way out of it. I'll get it back. Just because they park it doesn't mean they own it. Hey, Dad. What? I got to go take a whiz. I'll be right back. Nice timing. I got an idea. Pretend like you forgot something. Go back inside, take half the tip off the table, and give it to this guy. You're okay? a genius. What would I do without you? Oh. Be right back. This Parker guy, right? Yeah. Alan, I'm only allowed one phone call, and I figured I'd do the smart thing and call my partner. I, I know it's good for the show. Why do you think we're filming the call? But in a few minutes, that's going to be in the can, and there's really no need for me to still be in the can. Yes. Well, speaking of cans, you know, I got a toilet here with no door, and it's kind of hard to, to maintain your celebrity status when you're evacuating in front of a 300-pound cat burglar. Yeah, you too. Okay, take me away, pal. Better take this. I might hang myself. Oh, hello. You go by Greenleaf Terrace? Which one does? Uh, this one used to. Would you please just check your pockets again, please? Joyce, stop badgering me. I've told you a hundred times I went into the restaurant, I looked on the table, there was no tip. The waitress said there never was a tip. So I just finished Debbie's pie and came right back out. I don't understand this. I mean, I swear I saw that three dollars on the table. It makes no sense. I know what happened to it. Tommy stole it. He does it every time we eat out, ever since he was nine, little thief. He didn't have to whiz. Debbie. Debbie, that is a terrible thing to say about your brother. You're calling him a thief. Now, you listen to me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. The whole idea of this family is based on love, respect, and trust, young lady. Empty your pockets, Peckerhead. Boy, you're old man. I have never seen anyone that pissed off in my life. It must have been the bus driver not taking his check. It couldn't have been the $3. Yeah, he was pissed. But let's look at him on the bright side. He'll still be a young man when you get out of here. Well, are drugs a big problem around here? No, I can get you anything you want. Hello again. Martin Mall here. Well, I guess this really is our lucky day. We came here looking for crime, and now I am one. Yes, even though completely innocent of any wrongdoing, I have allowed them to arrest me and book me. Why, you may ask? Well, I guess just like Geraldo Rivera, I wanted to get knee-deep into the truth. Will I be treated fairly, honestly, and blindly? Well, that's not up to me, and it's certainly not up to my roommate. It's not even really up to the jury. It's up to this man right here. Probably the most important man in law and order today. Your lawyer. When it's your ass in the ringer, you want your lawyer. Right, Ned? Ned? That's our motto. <laughs> <laughs>